you can have um, patches where you lose all of the hair in, in just a patch. Um, and essentially you usually notice it in the shower um, where all of a sudden you've got all this hair in your hand. And um, yeah, or you wake up in the morning and it's on your pillow. Um, and it's quite distressing actually because you, you don't understand why your body's doing this. <laughs> and I'm a very healthy person, so why is my body doing this and someone else's body is not doing this? When she was a teenager, Kimberly Bell started having these shedding events. It's undetermined if those particular events were caused by birth control hormones. They happened again after the birth of her two daughters. However, the situation changed when she was around 45 years old. Um, I started to lose my eyebrows and I also started to lose patches of hair kind of all over my body. Um, not on my head, but just everywhere else. And actually on, my, on the side of my head, like my sideburns. And um, so I started to go to doctors to say, you know, what's going on? And when they saw my eyebrows were starting to thin and I was losing my eyebrows, they thought that it could be um, a thyroid problem or it could be hormonal issues. And so I went to specialist after specialist, um, and even a dermatologist that I see also thought it was thyroid related, um, but there's actually nothing wrong with my thyroid, but it took a very long time because of the Canadian medical system um, to finally get in to see a specialist dermatologist who um, immediately diagnosed me with alopecia areata. So it's an autoimmune condition and it is your immune system attacking your hair follicles. Um, and it's actually more common in families that have autoimmune conditions. This happened to me very gradually and slowly, which was an opportunity for me to get used to it and also to um, have it stabilize, which is great. Um, but just living in the society that we live in where we're just constantly bombarded throughout our whole lives, especially as a woman, to think that your value as a woman is very much attached to how you look. And then to have your looks change to something that is non-conventional or you know not accepted, not considered the standard of beauty um, can be very devastating. And I have to say that Joining a support group with CANAF was one of the greatest things that I did to combat that because it really gives you um, an opportunity to view your personal hair loss more in the context of, more in a real context because you can see other people that have lost more but that are actually doing much better than you're doing. And then you can also see yourself and you can see where you are and you might think that you're at a very vulnerable place, but actually I've found that I'm actually doing better than some other people. And so it really, it's really helpful because even if you're not doing as well as other people in the group, they're people that you can look to, to say that's where I can get. I can get to a place where I've really accepted this. If you have questions about alopecia or are looking for support, head to canaf.org. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.